Nevada is. And so that's why we're bringing the bus here to close it up in Las Vegas, Nevada. The stop in Las Vegas wraps up an 18 tour that has drawn more than 17,000 supporters of health insurance reform. So are you guys ready for the bus? Yeah. important policy debate in this entire country. And Las Vegas is the last stop. They're coming here to hear our voices, to hear what we want to have done, and to hear our opinions to make sure that this gets passed through the Congress. I want everyone in this country to have some basic health care. Just if you feel like something's really wrong, to see a doctor. As neither a Democrat nor a Republican, I come to you as a physician a father and a husband. This is the reality that I face in my clinic. Every week, I come across patients who are losing their jobs and consequently their health insurance. Every day, some people cancel appointments as they cannot afford them. I would like to see other people that don't have benefits have an opportunity to have health care as I have health care. My legs was uh, swollen, red, painful. I got a high fever, but I can't see a doctor because I can afford, because I don't have health insurance. It's time to change. Yeah. I don't like a lot of the shenanigans that are going on back in Washington, but I'm hopeful that if everybody sticks together and have our voices heard, that uh, our legislators will hear that and bring about some meaningful, ch meaningful change instead of just some sugar coating and some band-aids. The president's clearly explained his plan. It includes the best provisions from Democrats and Republicans alike. It's time for us to get behind the president and Senator Reid, to demand that these partisan obstructionist tactics stop, and to demand, to demand that real reform, long-lasting reform, the type of reform that will benefit all Americans becomes a reality. But we need your help, and I thank you in advance for your help in getting that job done. Yeah.